You should have been far away, Melissa. Do oh, that's because somebody's in between us. We totally look like siblings. Say we don't. A little bit, minus the bald head, yeah. <laughs> We have a well, wake up you know, I was going to say, we don't know. No, 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 no. Oh, Who right. knows? We might we be bald to... underneath these two. <laughs> That's another episode. You're also the first person to let us watch our first rated R movie. Your mom's going to kill me. <laughs> no, don't talk under your breath, you I'll see oh. it to our face. Our brother is here. So on this episode of Side by Side, you are going to get to know all about our brother, Jamal. This is Side by Side with Malika and Khadija. I have so many things to say about this individual that you guys are now gonna get to know a whole lot better. Khadija and I's older brother, Jamal, is the least complicated person that I know. <laughs> the calmest person in our family. Most likely the individual in our family that would move away to another country, but Khadija and I would probably kill him, so that's probably why he's still here. I wouldn't be there long. No, no, yeah. I will find True. you. True. Um, I think he is probably my favorite voice of reason. I did say he's the least complicated because that's a really big deal. It's like, true. In our family, like the least complicated human being. Most likely to keep everyone in our lives calm and um, allow everyone to feel the same. He's the most consistent human being and treats everybody exactly the same. Everybody loves Jamal. I could go on and on oh, and on. God. He is literally <laughs> one of my best friends and yeah, this is my brother. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll let you guys start, yeah, go ahead. Well, I, okay, so if I have to say, it, I kind of felt bad for you growing up. Okay. And, and I, I'm sure he's gonna understand exactly what I'm, why I'm saying this. Because Jamal was raised around five women at all times. He was the only guy in our house. And then upstairs in our house, there was three <laughs> bedrooms. There was a set of twin girls in one room. Jamal had his own room. And then another set of twin girls, which was our room, mm -hmm. and another room. Mm -hmm. But we had one bathroom <laughs> upstairs. <laughs> we did. Upstairs. Yeah. To share. That had to be rough on you. I think that has to be like the consist like the consistence of like what your childhood was even like. Yes. You guys took a little time in the bathroom. And... Just a little. Yeah. But it it wasn't a major problem. For the and you took part. your time too. I did sometimes. Yeah. Long showers. Were you hiding from us? In the shower. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but it wasn't a major, major problem, but it took some time. Yeah. But how, I, I have to ask this though, because I've yes. never asked you. Yes. What is it like being the only boy in a family full of women? You have to deal with a lot of attention. Okay. So to speak. Okay. From others. And you learn, you learn to deal with it, but other than that, it's not a big deal. You don't care? No. It was fine? It was fine. Like it you was wouldn't fine change to me. it? No, not at all. Aww. He loves us. Just unbothered. Yeah. Totally unbothered. Not at all. Well, I have to say, I think about our childhood the same way I still think about me and Jamal's relationship. Boogie Fun. Boogie that's down all the we Yes, oh that's all. I like to apologize for that. I did it. No, it was <laughs> you don't so need fun. to. A few boy is... activities I shouldn't have done, like boogie boarding down the stairs and you know. No, it was that's fun. Not like we I had a couple it. bumps and bruises, but we lived to see <laughs> the other day. We and never got really like but hurt. No. No, no. But it was fun. It so, was a lot of fun. So to explain exactly what he's saying he used to do, we had a flight of stairs and the stairs would, you know, go down and kind of make a L and then go down another one. Jamal would put me and Malika on the same like on a beach boogie, boogie like board. A, I don't think they have them anymore. No, I don't think so. They're probably <laughs> like not they, safe they or something. Don't right? Yeah. <laughs> they're like boogie foam. Board. They're not very uh, stable or, or, or safe, like he said. And he would put us both down, and there was like a string in the middle, and you just hold on to the string. <laughs> and one, Malika's probably in the front, I'd probably hold on in the back, and he would just push <laughs> us down the flight of stairs. And for us, it was the time of our life, but now when I think about it, that's probably why you're apologizing. Right, it's I, the most unsafe Two boy activities, thing. but yeah. yeah. But he didn't have like a little brother to play with, so we yeah. were in a sense, we're like your I little I was brothers. kinda like his little brother. Well, that's only because he taught you how to fight. He didn't teach me how But you guys grew up into women, so that's fine. You yeah. Know, keep you're, fighting. That's see, good. so you're, you didn't do any real damage. No, no. That's good. Yeah, it was good. Fondest memories would be um, her performances. 
how she would dance. She would be a, she would love to dance and perform a lot. <laughs> and that would be the fondest memories. And she was always very sweet and she was tiny. And <laughs> she was a really a performer, a funny performer. Yeah. yeah. Malika was the fondest. Malika was more, she was a little more tomboyish when she was growing up, but sweet. Like the sweetest girl at all times. Mm -hmm. um, emotionally sweet, actually. So she always wanted love and hugs and people around her. And, Aww. and yeah, so she, was a, she was just, yeah, no, it, it, it was true. <laughs> it's but, true, yeah. but, but she was just she was just sweet all the time. But then if you crossed her, you taught her how to defend herself. Right, at, at, at times, yes. <laughs> we're really going. Yeah. We're gonna tell. So we're gonna I, tell. Don't, well, I don't well, mind this. Right. I, I feel like, look, how much, how many years older than us are you? Five, six. Five, six. Okay, so we didn't exactly go to school together. Yeah. So in a lot of ways, most people's older brothers can be right there to defend their younger siblings. And although Jamal was with us a lot, um, there were times where he couldn't be. And he taught me that even though Khadija was my twin sister, she was still eight minutes younger than me. So that made her my little sister and it was my job to protect us. And she believes him to this day. I did anything my brother told me to do. So yep. if my brother said, don't let anybody talk to you guys like that, you don't let anybody talk to you guys like that. If somebody does something to your sister, you defend her. If somebody does something to you, you defend yourself. He was like, we don't pick on anyone, we right. don't pick fights, yeah. we don't do anything of that nature, but we're not punks either. So. Right. And, and you know, people would try So I'm just teaching her how to, you know, still be a woman, but at the same time protect yourself. Yeah. Yes. Um, not starting anything, but at the same time, people will try stuff, and if you do, you just have to have them respect you. That's all. It's literally what he did. He taught her how to throw a good punch. <laughs> <laughs> he taught her how to... Good knuckle sandwich. <laughs> did you know he used to let her punch you? No, it was protection. It wasn't knuckle sandwich. But here's the good. oddest thing. You never taught me how to punch. Well... You didn't. You were... I, I've never been yeah, in a fight was... in my life. And it's probably because he did not teach me how to speak. <laughs> well, he didn't want you protecting him. Punching and all. But this she's stuff. only eight minutes older than me, bro. Yeah, I think I think it was a little more tomboyish that came out in her early. You're more the performer. There's no <laughs> need for you to be in that. Theatrics, thing. just 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 be dramatic and let her take care. Of her. Let her take care of you. Yeah, yeah, please. I love this evaluation of us as little people. It's taking, it's taking me back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's how it was. Yeah. I know the reason why you didn't let me be the fighter, because mm -hmm. I was also the sick one. Because was, yeah. I had asthma. There were sicknesses. Yeah, and I spent a lot of time in the hospital, and then sometimes after my hospital stays, I couldn't go back to school. So my mom would hire my brother, yeah. which you loved, because it meant you didn't have to go to school. Absolutely. He would stay home with me, and he would take care of me. He would make sure I had my medicine, he would feed me, he would take care of me while everyone else went to school and my mom went to work. I remember vividly, I don't know what it is because it's, this tells how much time is passed. Mm -hmm. It was like a tape recorder and you would press two different buttons at the same time and he would like interview me. He'd be like, I'm sitting here with this little sick girl. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a full interview show. Yes, yeah. I couldn't go to school today. <laughs> And then because I had asthma, my breathing was so bad, I'd be like, hey, you know, I'm taking care of me. Like wheezing in my chest. And he would record this. He'd hit record. Yeah. Back in the day when they had the VA, well, VHS, the cassette. Yeah. The cassette, yeah. you could hit record, yeah. That's crazy. So these these type of shows were going on early. Yeah, I mean, we don't, I wish we still had them. That would have been yeah. the best thing ever. Yeah. Just for the memories. Our kids, my kids, would love oh, to they hear would, that. They would oh, love it. you're literally your kids are obsessed with hearing stories about us when we were younger. They ask oh, they me. They're just obsessed the with Uncle Jamal. What did, they, what did Uncle Jamal do? What did what, what did yeah, tell us stories? Could do? Tell us yeah. stories about them when they, they were our that. age. They love that. Funny that's stories. That's Kunkel. This is Kunkel. Kunkel. Yeah.
Christian. Christian. Yes. Christian couldn't pronounce uncle, so he called Jamal. Christian's gonna love this. Uncle. Yeah. Uncle Christian. Uncle. Yeah, it's uncle. Uncle. I don't know. I think it's really nice that when we had vulnerable times in our lives, that you were the protector. You were the guy. Like this is the first man Malika and I ever fell in love with. That's it. Thank you. Started here. Appreciate that. Yeah, he's the one that lasted. So in this case, the only one that matters. They can all come and Sorry, go if they I so choose. To. Yeah. <laughs> they can all come and go if they so You're my choose. real daddy <laughs> brother. <laughs> Khadija and I did have older twin sisters to look up to. We were very close to them, but you know, sometimes older sisters were like, ah, go away, you're annoying. You know, we were probably very annoying. <laughs> However, Jamal, on the other hand, never treated Khadija and I like that. We nope. could always come in his room and hang out with him. He taught us how to play Sega. I loved doing everything with my brother because he didn't treat us like little annoying little sisters. He was like, no, y'all can come kick it with us. He would take us. If, if mom was like, babysit your little sisters, he'd be like, okay, cool, I'll babysit them. But then if something came up, he would just take us with him. He used to take us to City Walk in Universal City, where it was you like the that. teen place <laughs> to go. That. They would say it was popping, because it was all that's old back kids. When, that's back when City Walk and City Walk. Yeah. yeah. You're also the first person <laughs> to let us watch our first rated R movie, so. That's true. Like, that's true. this is a guy that, it didn't matter. Your he was like. Your mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> For their bad behavior, not really. I never really judged them on, I would give them advice, as they know. I never judged them on their, you know, dating or hanging out for the most part. I mean, a few times, of course. As far as advice I would give them, just life advice that I had gone through, letting them know how they definitely stay on a pedestal and treat, you, treat other people fairly. Always said that. But keep yourself on a pedestal. I always told them that. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. Cover for them? Not not much. Khadija and I are really obsessed with Jamal, and I don't know if it's annoying to him or not. It's I mean, not. We not try to obsessed. calm it down, though. We're we very do. We've reserved, gotten a actually. lot better about how we bug him because, like, we 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 set up sometimes. Trying like, to get in this business. Trying to, yeah. Like, Khadija, did you call Jamal? Is he coming? Okay, well, I didn't call him. I called him last night. Okay, well, it's your turn to call him now. Like, we do you that just behind his back. You just that don't we do. know. We're always plotting on you because we just <laughs> always want him around and always want to hang out with him and. And now that we're grown, I kind of try to, and the girl, Malik and Khadija, I love you guys to death, but they want me in everything. Yeah. Family, everything, everything, everything. I kind of try to let them have their own space. And I come, of course, you know. You're we very don't need choosy, space. though. We don't need space. <laughs> but, so I just said that to you. mom, too. Mom goes, you know, I wish sometimes they want me in I everything, could everything. pull him in. I think we all want that, though. But right. you're like, I don't know, maybe it is a He's your just, product of your, your your upbringing. You're probably like, God, you guys have been around me so much, just like, go away off. a little bit. Oh, I think God. that's what it is, because I think now, and I, I I like that about you, though. You should be choosy. I don't think you have to be at everything. I think we just want you there. I think we're so used to having you that like, if he's not there, we fill the void. We do a family function, and, and it's not that he just chooses not to be with his family. It's not what it is. He's he busy. works a lot. Yeah, he, you know. Yeah. Then he takes his personal time because everybody should. But when he's not around, we feel I'm it. like, I wish Jamal was here. Like I'm, I have a little sunken in place. We spend a good, healthy amount of time together, and then he needs to take his break from us, which is probably healthy because. He gets this. He comes over and Malik is over there, and I'm like this. Or oh, one of us like, might be trying to lay on. We're like, brother. I so, da -da 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 did you see this? Like, he's yeah. <laughs> and it is baby time, so yeah. Yeah, and then we now we have kids. Then there's our text message chain. Yes. Really yeah, funny. funny. Really funny. <laughs> if you could get on on our text. I can't show you that. Though. No, we can't <laughs> show you that. <laughs> Good <laughs> I was just on the floor laughing a second ago. This guy is really, really he funny. is really funny. But I, I feel like that's what we've known our whole life. Like we have a great deal of fun together. I think okay, Kenny and Jamal have lived together. Me and Jamal have lived together. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. in our life, if I could, like I would just kidnap him and he would just live with me and Ace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I would just build out a cul-de-sac 
Ace and I would put that. Jamal in one house. Ace, Ace would Malika. love to beat me up all day. He oh, would yeah. He would He die. beats his head. Gunkle, gunkle, gunkle. He would love gunkle. that. He would love that. Yeah, he would. We all would. We're just, we love each other. You know, there's like family and friends. We are. We're both. We're both. True. Ooh. Oh, this is a That's great a really question. <laughs> Your proudest I, moment. My proudest for moment us. was maybe obvious, but when ATL came out, that probably was my going to that premiere. It's yeah. kind of like I'm proud of you. I, I remember embarrassing you guys at City Walk when we went to <laughs> we went to the premiere. I was like, you guys are in ATL. Like, yeah, you know, that, I was just congratulating them. That was a proud moment. For them, because I know that it was a, it was a role that they were proud about too. Yeah. So. Yeah. That was proud. That was a proud moment. That was a big mainstream that role was. for us, where yeah. it was like, did our career just take a little bit of a turn? <laughs> like, right. yeah, yeah, that's great. But you've right. always been that. You've always also been... Sky High too. Sky High yeah. was a proud moment too. Proud well, moment. that was our first movie. That was the right? first movie. Yeah. 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 ATL a little bit more because I knew I think I knew it was gonna be more of a. Yeah. It was more mainstream. Big mainstream yeah. movie, but. Yeah, both of them were good, but ATL was a proud moment. <laughs> Helter Skelter comedy. Yes. No, no. honestly, I think I have no one one say. the <laughs> funniest no one. families around. Yes. I mean, I remember pregnancy kind of took me away from my family where I felt like I wasn't able to enjoy it as much and getting back to that has been the joy. Like. I was so pregnant, I couldn't laugh as hard. Let me be specific. <laughs> like, I, I didn't have the space or the capacity to laugh with my family the way I'm used to laughing we with laugh them. them. Like, that's our joy. We really genuinely find a place and a time, the majority of the time that we are together, to laugh. That's what we do. Yeah. We are a family full of, like, Lovers and fools. True. Lovers True. and fools. That's pretty good. Just yeah. saying. You might have missed your calling. I think a lot of people You're come around and they say, like, this family just sits around and clowns all day. But it's literally like, they literally do. But yeah. That's, yeah, you just have a good time. Practical jokes. We tease each other. <laughs> like, tease it's each other. just, <laughs> we watch stuff that will make us laugh. Like, you know, some people come yeah. around, it's like they might want classical music. We might have a set, like, a time of that, but that's before everybody arrives. Once everybody's there, tell we're gonna play games, we're gonna tell jokes, we're gonna have <laughs> drinks. Always a party. It's, it's a party. The kids are gonna run around yeah. and act crazy. Like we just we I don't eat, know. we drink, we play games, we watch mm -hmm. movies. If jokes are not going, something serious is happening. Period. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. We're a good time. <laughs> we are <laughs> unapologetically a great time. Lord. For me, I, it's special. Don't cry. Of course she I told you she's a lover. She's a lover. She's hey, always, always been a little been. mushy it's good. Really, she like. really special. Yeah, it is. Uh, I, I love you. Bro. I, love you too, I don't know what word I have. Come up with it. Do you have a word? Just I do, I do. What's your word? It's simply like best friends. In love? <laughs> Special friends in love. <laughs> the day you pick a woman for your life, oh my goodness, she is going to be special. Oh, talk about that wedding that I'm gonna throw. Maybe she, <laughs> maybe she wants to throw her That's own wedding, Malika, or her family, or something. Designer of everything. Yeah. Okay, maybe you we just have to nicely together. offer to help. We, we can do it. Not together. take women. over. <laughs> you women can work. Yeah, you guys can work, work together. Fun. Trust right. me, whoever she is, she's gonna love us. I got you. I think so. And vice versa. Yeah, she will. I hope It'll she's somebody good. we know at this point because it's the only way someone's gonna understand. His DMs are open and so are ours. <laughs> she's, she's accepting, accepting all <laughs> She's accepting applications. All resumes. <laughs> well, what I'm wondering is, 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 is she accepting um, women in your life for her, for them to be her sister-in-law or to be your wife? Which one? Who else? It's DM oh. Malika. <laughs> Sign up. <laughs> Somebody else in the world the has the felt this way about their brother before. Oh, I'm sure. I pray that we're not guys, the only guys, ones that you know. You guys pump your brothers up like this too. You, you should. should. If you have a good you brother and you guys like click, like that's a blessing.
Yeah. So if you marry him, um, <laughs> this is a calling. Okay, don't so because I am looking for a sister-in-law, <laughs> it's fine. No, do listen to me. Here's, here's what's I, funny about this. She's hours. going, I'm looking for a sister-in-law. <laughs> She's going to give me the hardest time ever. But you would. Uh, no, 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 I am. But I'm saying. <laughs> I'll be nice. Like, I'm going to be nice, but like, like it's As, my, uh, it's uh, one of my freaking pride and joy. It's my brother. True. And I very think true. that like any woman that gets this man is going to be. So, so lucky. And then on top oh, of that, you get brother. us. Sorry, sorry. So I just, much. he's I not just, gonna like this. They pumped the brother up so he much. He is single, never been they, married. They, doesn't have no any kids. kids. They pumped the brother up so there you much. Go. What is that? That's not pumping up. Those are the facts, Malika sir. Malika and Khadija friends, they're pumping their brother up right now. Exhibit <laughs> <laughs> Malika and Khadija friends. <laughs> Hi, friends. Look at our friends. single brother. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> Click the subscription button so you don't miss an episode of Side by Side.